Hello everybody, uh, Duality here, uh, this time with a 2v2 analysis, uh, again with Tech, same player as my previous 1v1 analysis. So we're going to run through this from his point of view, and then again afterwards from my point of view. And just uh, discuss a bunch of things that happen, uh, probably analyze some plays specifically, and see what we can figure out here. So he's watching it well, um, putting good space there, he just challenged a little bit too late. You know, with more time and practice comes the ability to speed um, your uh, challenges and whatnot up. Uh, smart of him to uh, block that uh, other player there, though. Uh, stop him from getting anything on net. And here, it's um, a classic case of not so much a panic, but being used to just always accelerating. Uh, so it, it's a good idea to just try to practice um, making sure you're able to control acceleration and deceleration when need be. Because uh, some people tend to freeze up whenever they change momentum of their car. You know, they're not sure what to do, they tend to stall out for a second. Um, let's get back into this. So, he's just trying to get behind Nets, understood, and then start cycling this up. He gets a nice cut past him, I should be behind him pushing Nets. So, very smart from him to cycle around there. Um, decent challenge by him, we're able to keep it uh, on their half of the pitch, so he should be... Um, should be grabbing the boost there to stop them from getting it. He could have done both, uh, but not a big issue at all there. So I'm playing it up, and in this instance, he's all the way back. Uh, so there's not too much he can do. He actually still gets there, um, but that's definitely a common problem I see a lot: is the tendency to kind of just run back to net all the way. Um, you know, whether or not you're scared they're going to launch a big clear or something like that. Um, so it's good to just. Um, practice analyzing the situation as far as what's going on. Where's your teammate at? Uh, where are the opponents at? And if you can, you know, always just putting yourself maybe around midfield, uh, opposite side of where the action's going on, and get ready to continue the play from there. Um, most importantly, uh, especially in twos, is just, you know, focusing on where your teammate is at. How can you continue the play? Um, so here he's running up, which is pretty smart, you know. Uh, wouldn't really expect a shot from that, so as long as we're keeping control, that's more than okay, so. Uh, he's gonna circle around in net here, and go up to challenge. Um, could have just single jumped into a stronger aerial clear, uh, but you know, he's on target, so uh, that's more important, you know, just making sure that he's able to get something on right now, um, at least when it would come to rank play. Uh, but practicing single jump aerials into power shots is important, and I'll definitely be posting a video of that here sometime soon. So he's following this, he should be going back, uh, you know, letting me push up, and you see there he uh, reads the situation pretty well, you know, turns around, uh, of course, to continue the play. Nothing really happens, but uh, what matters is he's putting himself in the right uh, situation. Mechanics and everything uh, will certainly come with time. So he should be... Um, should be taking that up the wall and passing it out, um, just kind of bounces it against the wall, and uh, that goal isn't his fault, um, but that's just a situation where you really want to practice um, just getting the ball to roll up the wall and out, because uh, pushing it against the wall um, whenever your teammate isn't ready uh, for sure will certainly put it in an easy spot for at least one of the two opponents you're up against. So. He's coming up here, um, luckily he's in an okay spot for what gets sent his way, um, he's trying to read it, uh, luckily that guy misses, uh, but he's just a little too far ahead of the ball here, um, regains control though, uh, is trying to pop it around, so he should be just running back a little bit, seeing what's going on, maybe picking up boost, so, good by him. Um, a little bit too far forward here, uh, when you're last man back like that, you really want to stay in net, so we can kind of just, um, Slow down a little bit here. Okay, so. Right now, uh, I just took a shot uh, to put pressure on. So he's the only one in net. And the ball's coming out here. So realistically, um, yeah, he should be able to get to this. Uh, as long as he jumps up with a fast aerial and um, slams into it. Um, but you see, the other opponent has already gone up, and he's still on the ground. Uh, but more importantly is that he's facing away from it now. So, to, uh, like, really get any sort of good block, he would need to, like, turn around correctly, like, completely, or uh, just get a nice reverse aerial. But, you know, you kind of watch this, uh, you know, you're naturally just going to want to cycle around, and at that point it's just too late. So, um, 
you know, it's definitely a good idea to just keep trying to read those situations and not forcing yourself to go out of net when you don't have to, uh, but that's something that just more so comes with practice. He sees the clear, and he starts going out for it, which is nice, so... Uh, he knows, you know, I should be background mid, something like that, so it's, uh, he should be just applying pressure, which he did. And kind of circling behind me to let the play keep going. And there he just kind of stalled, um, you know, maybe misread what was going on. Uh, you know, kind of hard to predict that shot in. Uh, if he kept going, he would have saved it, um, but that kind of stuff happens. So, kind of a slower kickoff here, um, you know, I mean, it's better to go for something slow that you can hit instead of something wrong. Um, but okay, this is, um, this is one of those pretty common instances, so this is something we can certainly go over together. So, uh, there's one player he can see, uh, who's kind of, as you can tell, flying away from the ball. So, he's got an open net, and he can either take this and shoot it on, or, uh, pop it high off backboard, uh, maybe near post on that right there, and bump it back to me uh, if he's not comfortable taking a shot. And up here, he's a little too far forward. Um, at the rate he's going, he's just gonna slam into it and pop it, you know, or like not pop it, but just run it forward. And so like, you can kind of watch this as you see, it's just gonna roll up that wall and um, up and out a little bit. And I'm not sure where I'm at, we can kind of keep this going. Uh, to watch it, but I wasn't uh, close enough. So in that instance, you basically just need to practice just popping it off the ground. You know, aerial play is how you're going to get the good passes. As long as your teammate is expecting something higher in the air, um, then he'll be able to get to it more than the opponent uh, most of the time. And it's a good shot by him. Uh, it doesn't rush it too much. He's able to just uh, line it up and pop it in. Again, kind of a slow kickoff here. Dies in the middle. Um, nothing too bad happens. So here he's right to kind of push onto it, puts himself in an awkward position with whatever happened to his car. Uh, and that kind of flies over me. I'm not sure what happened there. We'll be going over that later, but... Okay, so he sees this, and he was below it, but he's able to pop it up. And I believe I was probably just far back in that to do it, so he's um, right to pop it out there, which is good. Uh, I don't think my touch was as hard as I would have liked, so... Um, in this instance, uh, you know, it's good to challenge. Um, I'm not sure how he knew that was there. He might have just went up for it, um, but he definitely played it smart. Um, so here, he sees me, and he should just pop this out, um, but it kind of dies. Instead of taking a shot, he kind of just keeps pushing it forward. Um, you know, one of the just uh, endless reasons why being able to take, a, like, a powerful shot from the air is important. But he's back in net, uh, watching this, and again, he kind of just goes a little bit too far forward there. Um, puts himself out of the out of the play, and just uh, another situation where it's important to like understand where you're going to be if you keep going at a fast pace like that. So, all right, so we can pop through this from my point of view and go through some things. So, uh, I see him up there, uh, he takes that path over, so I'm just going to go up and try to get below the ball to keep it going forward, um, instead of kind of just straight there. Uh, I know I should be able to beat him, so I'm, I try to take that boost, uh, it didn't go well, but he kind of has a dirty shot there for it, doesn't do too much, so I see both people miss, um, try to jump up, I think he just like squeezed that behind me or something, and, but, um, just a misplay there, so. able to take this over. Um, you know, I don't want to dodge into it, but I just want to ride the ball along that to kind of push away from him. So that's a shot coming down. Luckily it's off, and I, his teammate should be there, so I just got up immediately to block that out. So I'm going to turn around here, uh, try to put myself in a better position to block. Luckily kind of just gets tossed away there. Um, so we're going to try to push it around. The teammate's on it. Um, 
So I could turn around, but I really need to make sure that I'm okay too in that instance, uh, just because it really depends on how close the enemy is, and that will be the difference between a good play and something that just gets scored on our net. So we got a kind of a weird pinch there, and I'm just going to try to push it off and out. Um, it's actually something you can kind of just watch again really quick. Um, you know, being able to set up your partner uh, from near post like this is very important, um, especially in twos. Uh, you know, like, there's a defender in net, so... And the way I'm coming at it, there's really not much I can do. The idea is I just have to beat the defender to the ball and just try to pop it up or more backwards towards my teammate. So I delay my dodge and I just dodge there and you see it kind of bounces it upward and he wasn't really expecting that and the uh, opponent kind of just flies at it. Um, nothing happens but it's um, just to give you an idea of some different ways to handle that. So there I just want to slow it down, pop it up, um, just run through this again really quick. Uh, this is just a stereotypical so in this instance, um, you know, like I can go at the ball and shoot it, uh, at least before I turned, but it would be very hard, uh, at least too comfortably know I can hit a shot. So I just need to go back here and just get in a perfect line behind the ball. And now I just have to wait for the bounce correctly. Uh, so I see it coming down and I'm not going to dodge or anything. I'm just going to let it pop up. And I see them not going up, so I just have to beat them to it. So at this point, I know I'm going to beat him. And this is where that power shot comes in. So I just popped it up, I boosted it up, and now I'm just going to dodge roll forward into it. So that um, additional velocity will push it past him, and it's just way too high for the teammate there. So we can kind of just um, watch it then normally. So just let it go continuously. So, you know, I'm popping it up, jumping up, making sure I'm under it, and then power shooting it forward. So it gets just enough vertical momentum uh, while still re retaining mostly that horizontal momentum that I wanted, so. And I'm just gonna let him go for uh, basically all these kickoffs. I see it's gonna bounce up and I'm waiting for them because they're closer, so I don't want to just lunge myself at the ball. Uh, I just want to play it smart. I can grab this boost and watch the bounce. Um, I can't read it, so I'm just going to take a line straight back. Try to grab the boost. There's not much he can do, um, but he could have popped that backwards with some weird backflip, so I made sure I just got up to block something. And I'm waiting for the pass to see what happens here. My teammate's up, so I'm just going to try to play it smart and make sure he can't get any sort of shot in. And uh, I definitely needed to make sure I started putting pressure on him as my teammate rotated back, so I kind of just uh, pushed myself on it to challenge. And it's bouncing off the opposite wall, so I might as well grab their boost, uh, see what happens. Luckily, they kind of just flop there. Uh, missed that, so... I'm just gonna wait to see what happens. Uh, in twos, you always just want to wait back. I mean, unless you're down by 100 with 7 seconds left, you know, you really just need to analyze what's going on. And pushing yourself too far forward is great to, like, get a nice cheating goal. Um, but it's more often than not going to hurt you. Um, so it's a good idea to just wait back and see what happens from the play and then swing for boost and go from there. So I don't want to go up on this because my teammates are the side, so I'm watching see what happens. And there my second jump was uh, too late. I forget what happened there, but um, just took too much time to get the second jump up and just kind of popped over. So I'm watching this, my team is going back, so I know I'm next on it, so I'm just going to see what he does, and then jump up and challenge. Um, this might be a good instance to kind of run over challenging. Okay, so my teammate should be behind me, and, uh, you know, my job is to, if nothing else, just put pressure on the ball. You know, make him make a bad shot, or just get the ball off of his car, and uh, just get it to where my teammate can start working with it. So, as you see here, I start jumping. Um, he hasn't taken a shot yet, so, and basically any way that he hits this, it's going to go at least somewhat upward. So I just have to get the jump, and, you know, you try to tell where they're going to shoot it, and what you'll find is most of the time, you know, they're just going to try to shoot it around you, um, which most, more often than not, ends up being towards the wall. So you kind of just want to practice, like, making sure that you're attacking in that right direction, but, so I just dodge left with it, and I'm able to pop it past him, so going from there, and then uh, I'm just 
just gonna cycle back, let my teammate do what he can. Uh, he missed that hit, so I just want to keep going up. The ball kind of dies there, so I'm just going to try to put myself in a spot where he can pass it, but at the same time, you see him around midfield, I can save a shot, but also come up if need be. So I want to get like a wide line, but then kind of just push it back here so we can take it out. Um, I see him going up for that, and I kind of panicked and went up for that. Uh, definitely not what you want to do, but uh, that was just the instance where Tech should have been up for that earlier. Um, but that happens, so... I'm um, just watching this, I don't want to just jump off, you know, I'm going to let the opponent know that I'm on the wall and I'll probably block anything. Um, just want to keep clearing it out away from them. So I'm just going to come up opposite here to try to see if he can boom it over. Um, play starts coming back, so I'm just trying to check to see what he does. Um, and that ends up going past, but... We're just going to take this up, and I see him going to the right there, so I'm able to just kind of knock it back uh, behind him. So, it takes something up, like I said, I'm kind of just dropping back, analyzing what happens on the kickoff, making sure I'm in a smart good. position. Um, watching teammate, he tries to go for the challenge, um, but he's going to go for this again, so I'm going to drop slightly back, see how it goes from there, and then try to turn it just... Uh, hit it away from them, <coughs> kind of keep taking this downfield. Uh, hit it off near post for the opportunity for a pass, uh, luckily it does end up getting to him, so we're able to finish that, so good positioning by him. And here, just gonna wait, see what happens, it starts coming, and, but he's there, so I don't, don't want to drive up too far in case a clear runs over me, so I'm just gonna keep analyzing from a safe situation here, I just want to turn, and that way I get a better clear on it, but he gets an awkward touch, kind of just pops it up again, so uh, something that should have, I should have went up um, a bit earlier for that. So we're just watching him, I'm just going to grab the boost, cycle back, um, he pops it out, so I'm going to try to just tap it back down, uh, fortunately it's just the right to the opponent, so he's going to take that, but I'm just going to try to snag this boost and cycle up. I see him over there, so I'm just gonna start moving towards mid to try to hit, be able to hit any pass, and that work uh, kind of just dies out, so I'm gonna keep relevant, but not try to overcommit myself too much, and just um, leave Tech back there hanging. Uh, so uh, I want to take, try to take the boost here, but at least cut them off, that way he doesn't have a good line, and my teammate can attempt to do something. And here is basically it, you know, I can try to just pop it up and hope for the best, but... Um, not much you can do to finish that up, so... Uh, it was a, a weird game, and this is... Uh, a cool, <coughs> these people are have a bit more playtime than Tech, so... But he definitely um, performed at his best here. Uh, so, realistically for twos, um, he seems to be good for the most part, maybe just uh, player awareness, um, trying to set up different passing opportunities, and being more confident pushing up on the offense. Uh, just because with another teammate, you got to increase the speed to get it past two opposing defenders, so um, it can actually be scored on. So, uh, good stuff. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Um, go ahead and shoot me a message if you feel like it, or send over a replay.